Whoa. Alright, hello guys, and welcome to a new video, and um, today we're doing a draw bridge. It can't go backwards, sad part, um, but uh, can't fix itself, so if I destroy, keep all that, and it fixes itself. Um, the pistons only push to this far, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Lost my count. Uh, I think it's like 16 blocks. Wait, now I can count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 blocks. And it won't go any further. If it would, it would build. But it can't. So, um, but what I wanted to show you was, like, say if you're in a battling thing where you can make stuff, then if you have this, like, near a castle or something on your side with this, like, built in the ground, I have the glass so I can show all the redstone. Um, and then say, like, TNT comes, hits it, you can flip a lever and you can turn the system on and off if you want to but I don't have a lever but say the uh, bridge gets destroyed then you can just rebuild it by flick of a switch I can do that but I didn't do it on this video I'll probably have another video up later on how to do that but what we're gonna do is jump into the part to where we start building this alright so what you want to start off doing is make a 3x3 three three area uh, I don't know I'm just gonna dig out a little bit right here um, let me grab some grass there we go and put down three pistons now if you want it in the ground like that one over there then you're gonna have to dig down two blocks if you don't care about the redstone on seeing it then you can keep this above ground but for this video I'm just gonna show you how to conceal it a little bit because I think some people would like that um, so yeah you want to dig down two blocks and then what you want to do is set up redstone repeaters and set them on the fourth tick and then hook redstone up to all of them have one like come off of it and then go to the left one block or right doesn't matter um, and then add a redstone repeater in a circle like so square box you can't make circles in minecraft well you can um, but it would have to be a larger scale than this so like a square like this you know the normal repeater thingy and then what you want to do is Sometimes you just want to time it, so I'm just gonna put it. I'm just gonna put it at this two ticks. Just click it twice, and then it's like the one closest to the last, but not the last. So then we'll turn that on later, and then you got that first part set up. So that's just the pistons that push out this over here. It's the one that pushes out all this right here. So it will keep on pushing. And yeah, I did have it. I have every one, but oh, two of them are on the last tick. I guess we'll do that. Uh, put these two over here on the last tick, I guess. There we go. And then should work fine. And then let's move on to the next part. All right, once again, another three by three area. Except you want to dig down at one part, down one more block, like three blocks down, sort of. And you want to put a piston right there. So when say this grass is cobblestone if it goes up then another piston will be able to push it that way this is to keep it as concealed as possible um so yeah so you want to have that block there and then you want a, another piston right there so when the block goes up like shown then that one will be triggered and be able to push the block in front of those so let's just set the time today right quick there we go and then now that you have that set up, you just want to kind of come back here, line it up with this, like follow this area right here, and go back a little bit, and then have a piston, and then what you want to do is set up a cobblestone generator, which everyone should know how to do. Just leave this block right here empty, and then create two blocks to the side, dig one block down, and have the water to where it just flows into a hole, and then I uh, want to box this up and then put lava in the other one and then it should make cobblestone right there you know simple stuff everyone should know this um but if you don't you just learned so now that we have that then we just want to hook up the wiring to this one and what I do is, do is just dig out this crap and then since I like to keep it in a sort of 3x3 three three area what I do is just hook up redstone to this one this isn't exactly 3x3 three three, but whatever and then just make the timer again where it just rotates around 
put those down and then put click it twice so on the third tick and then that should be ready to go so what we'll do is go ahead and fire this one up so we can start getting some cobblestone so I just put down a redstone torch or a lever and then flick it on flick it off and then it should start just making cobblestone sending it out now sometimes it'll, it won't make any but most of the time it does that and then as you will see it will come over this uh, uh, piston right here oh but one thing that I forgot to do okay before we have that going um, before you do that you want to hook up redstone to this first so down here on this bottom layer you want to dig over just one more block probably um, no here I know what to do um, have your redstone repeater down and then put the timer over here somewhere that's what I'm gonna do for right now and let's have repeater 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 all right and then let's set them on the hit, hit it twice and then redstone all around and then what you want to do is just activate it whoops not mean to do that all right so now that piston will be going off and now what you want to do is have some grass building up here like so and then you want to just take some redstone run it up there like so and then you just have it to where it will be feeding and yeah it'll be feeding like that and what I like to do is put a piece of uh, bedrock on top so the so that the um, cobblestone doesn't keep on building up because either way that'll be kind of bad uh, there we go so when the cobblestone starts coming it will not keep on building upward and go up into the sky so that would be kind of bad so now that we have that set up then we turn back on this thing now what should start happening is it should start pumping cobblestone up into there if we did this correctly just need to make some more cobblestone and there we go starts feeding it up in there and this is try to keep it concealed you can put a piece of glass right there and then the rest can be filled in but I'm not gonna do that for the purposes of this video and then we are pretty much done let's just put on this one to keep going and then it should just build itself as shown now it's gonna take a minute to warm up to get everything going because all the cobblestone isn't being made at the same rate and you may need to tweak the times a little bit for yourself you'll just have to find the right times and show you how easily you can just cover this crap up you can just easily if it's in the grass just easily put dirt over it and then it can grow to grass or if you're in creative like me then you can just put grass over it and pretty much the only thing that will be showing is that obsidian um you may want a piece of glass right here just glass right there and then some dirt or whatever cover this part up don't cover up that redstone though that's the only part that's gonna be kinda sticking out but if you put this down maybe well you can't put it down one more you will just have to have that part just that's gonna be the only part leaning out so the only bad part about this system right now anyway uh, if they come out with a feature that you can send redstone probably well it can do that but it would take more resources and it can't do that in a super flat world but as you can see this is all that stands out really I mean it doesn't look like there's much to it but as you can see it's like rebuilding itself so that'll be it guys and I will see you in the next video like if you liked it of course and favorite it and subscribe and then you can see more of this stuff which is really helpful for me because in a survival world this would be amazing and so I will see you in the next one.